Thank you. you. Shut up. Okay, stop talking. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to another episode of Get Bit Reddit. Now, it's been a while since that Reddit logo has actually been on my forehead, but I'm glad to be back to this series, man. The last episode I actually posted, I recorded that like a month ago, and then a surge of games came out. I never found the time to repost it. Then that video was just filled with nothing but old memes. But now we're back here, and I am so ready to check this out. I'm actually really excited for this one. 15.8k members. Guys, do you know how much that means to me? The fact that we've been able to accumulate a community of nearly 16,000 people over on Reddit. That's crazy, dude. If you guys do want to check it out yourself, there'll be a link in the top of the description down below, but enough talking about that bullcrap. Smash a like and let's get to it. Hold up. Baz with the outstanding moves. Mom, can we have, I guess, one of the nether poles? No, there's a nether pole at home. And then when we look at home, this was, uh, do you see the fact that I'm leaning on my chair right here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to need your diamond pickaxe. God damn it. So, Baz, let's take a look at this, then. What have Guys. you made? Let's have a look. I thought I did it right, but... <laughs> Just made a freaking... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, guys, Baz wasted all the obsidian, and I had to go ahead and mine it all. Now, over on 8-Bit Gaming, me and Baz are doing a co-op Let's Play of Minecraft starting from the beginning. It is so much fun, and if you guys enjoyed my playthrough, then you're going to love this one, because the bull crap that we get up to is ridiculous. The oh, my... Every single time, like... <sighs> The ultimate crafting recipe. Okay, eight of the reddits around the side, okay? One normal looking rhyme, and when you get out of... No names, we shouldn't speak of this thing, okay? We're scrolling. Actually, I have thrown up, vote. Get off my screen. Relatable, my mental health, uh, in danger. My mental health when I watch one of Ryan... Bro, I have that much of a... effect on that bullcrap. Hello, Floof has blessed you with happiness. Be nice to Floof. Is that thing... How is that real? That... No, that's not real. Hang on a second, I gotta zoom in. Those eyes literally look like cotton candy. Hold up a second. Fluffy moth. Oh my god, it is a genuine... Bro. You've got to be kidding me. Hold up. Oh, look at it. Legit, that's adorable, okay? I like that. Fluffy Muff, I appreciate you. I've liked that. Now get off my screen still. I'm very sorry. Don't worry if you're just as confused. What is the most difficult thing? Mining bedrock or discovering FNAF's timeline? Now, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen someone successfully mine that bedrock. So that might be, you know? Then again, on the fence of that, Matt Pat's been doing theories on FNAF for about five and a half years. I mean, we're kind of getting like a little bit close to discovering some of those mysteries, but still, we're not there. So like, I, I don't know, guys. They're just as difficult. Am I going to be in Ryan's video? I, I don't know, probably not. Bossy, you've literally just done exactly what you thought you couldn't from a meme that got 600 upvotes and another one on top of that. Off my screen. Please, Ryan. Finn, Finn, he's going to talk. Finish Undertale. Guys, here's the thing about Undertale. I was legit getting ready to come back to it as a series, but like there's so many other games that have been releasing and I kind of feel like it's been months since we finished that. I might try and return to it at some point, maybe when games run a little bit dry because I have got strats down for Undyne and I'm ready to take it down. However, but right now, at this minute in time, I'm actually going to take a piece. I'll be right back. <laughs> Listen, this is why sometimes the big forehead Ryan appears for literally one to two seconds within videos. Because this would probably be the true state of what it looked like if he went out in public. Some things remain just, you know, that split thing in a video. And that's all they should amount to. Because physically, guys, I can't allow this guy to get out in public. It would go very, very wrong very quickly. Taking up, though. Off my screen. Cereal. Um, wait, the fact that we've got this science meme. Uh, let me just get my tin for hat on, guys. I just ate cereal literally for the first time in years. And let me tell you, I've been missing out. Boy, what the heck? I literally never eat breakfast. I love cereal. I just don't eat breakfast. You've been missing out. Cereal is beautiful. And yes, I put the cereal in first. I'm not a psycho. I put the bowl in first. Um, uh, wait, what? What? Wait, what? Put the cereal in first. I put the bowl in first. What? Why does my brain- My brain shouldn't be aching over this. Hang on, comments. I usually freeze the milk in a bowl and then put the cereal within that. And then I place all of that within a bowl and wait for the milk to melt so that the quality of the meal in the morning breakfast is fu- Wait, what? Same, bro. Why would you put milk before the bowl and the cereal? I exactly. Bro, I've been doing it wrong for years. I put the cereal and milk in my mouth and then I wash it down with the bowl. Okay, all right. Now I am starting to see why this is descending rapidly. Hold on, I need some logic juice, guys. Uh, hang on, guys. I saw the preview. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> yes! This is the content I want to see on my Reddit. Ryan stood no chance there, guys. Look, normal. 
He didn't even see that hand coming in. That is perfection. You have done it, Zack the Reaper. Take that. Just a simple meme I made. Ooh, yeah, look, if you guys are like searching in YouTube this method, okay, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? I remember seeing someone like write a news article on me. They were kind of like analyzing my content. It was a while ago and they put it like eight space bit right and I was like, hang on guys, I'm going to test something on YouTube, okay? You see on the, the file right here, now I'm searching this term, okay? I'm seeing the volume of searches versus the medium. Now, what about if I remove the space here? Let's see what we get. No, look, God. hang on. Is that more of a search volume than my actual name? Hold up. No, it's not. Okay, I was nearly concerned. What about 8-bit Ryan? Ugh, how many people are typing that? Still, you see, there's quite a lot typing that. Truly fascinating how many ways that I can have my name typed. And still, it leads to the same person. I mean, thank you, YouTube. So I drew Ryan based off his RE2 gameplay, probably because combining him with Jill will be weird. Jill little Jill, Jill will. He's tried to... Wow. Wow, that, that's that's innovative. I like that. Nice drawing. Take an upvote. Good stuff. The Sanana the Skanana. Hang on. I'm Sanana. Sanana the Skanana. Hey. What's this? What's the Skanana? I'm kind of scared to Google that. I'm going incognito. Wait. I go into uh, images right now, guys. We, this is this is a real thing. It's a skanana right there. That's that's legit a skanana. Wait, what? I recreated Uno in Minecraft. No way. Wait, how the freak? It actually works too. Thirty thousand likes on this video, and I'll play Uno in Minecraft. I know it's not gonna happen. That's why I'm setting the goal so high. Making an 8-bit Ryan animation. Hope he sees this. Oh, awesome bear! I'm seeing this. All right. That actually looks like a great model as well. If this continues, please keep updating this on the Reddit. I'd love to see the progress, man. Yep. <laughs> You know, this has been something I've been thinking about for a while. I do all these stupid liquefy faces. I would legit love it if an artist could go in and draw a super hyper-realistic version of one of those liquefied faces. Like, this sort of stuff, it just, it doesn't look right, but at the same time, it's also perfection. So, like, I can just see if a detailed version of one of these was done, I think it would be the best piece of art ever. My cat when she was a kitten. That's sweet. Right there, guys, that's a comfortable little kitten. You see how smug that face is? Like, let me add the sound effect. Hang on. Taking up folk. Um. Oh my god. Oh. Hold up. <laughs> Whoa! What? She became one of those. You know what those brush things, dude? Wow. Uh. That, that was literally revolutionary. That is an amazing idea. I love it. Wait, hang on. A wholesome post right now? Hey, Ryan and the people of Reddit. I just wanted to let Ryan know that we don't need over-edited videos if it were to mean that he will get burned out by it. Again, I know I'm stating the obvious, but I and many others wanted him to know. And this post will help you rest them gems you call eyes people if you're using dark mode. Oh, fair point. You know, I have been trying to refine my technique and content at the moment to like really the editing style that I personally can manage. And I think, you know, as time has been going on, I've really been getting to a, a good point where I'm not burning out and I'm able to have like enough time to focus on other things that I'm trying to do in the day. This is a really nice post to see though. Like I was just scrolling expecting memes and stuff, but this is pretty wholesome and I do appreciate the reminder. I can't really do forget boundaries. It's so easy to do like when you're editing similar videos every day and you're doing like similar edits. You always think like, like, oh, I've got to start adding a little bit more to it. But this is kind of like a reality check. So take an upvote, and even though it's sweet, get off my screen. Anyone remember this? Um, to be honest, based on my face, I don't even think I remembered it. I don't know what happened, but uh, yeah, that looks like a concussion. If cat is here, maybe Ryan click here. Oh, I click there, okay? That cat's beautiful, I love it. Hang on, Zack the Reaper's back again! Okay, switch to my video. I feel like something bad's gonna happen, guys. Keep doing it, I'm not talking. My man is committed. This is the thing you've got to remember, guys, okay? He had to wait about 20 seconds before he had the chance of nailing that as an effect, okay? And he did it, and he did it with complete and utter perfection. Make another upvote. Let's all remember this good actor for Resident Evil 2, Paul Haddad, the voice of Leon Kennedy. Yeah, unfortunately, he was the voice actor for the original Resident Evil 2, Leon, and uh, unfortunately passed away, which is such a shame, honestly. It's always a shame to lose people like this in the industry. Let's just take a look back at some of the classic stuff with Resident Evil 2. Soundtrack's amazing, by the way, but for the line deliveries. Oh, man. So this was the original guy, guys, that gave Leon who, the voice. Who are you? Oh, you must be the new guy. Leon, sorry, but it looks like your party 
has been cancelled. Oh, really? What happened? The original lines, dude. The speech in the old PS1 stuff was super sparse. Like, obviously it was the beginning of the voice acting days for games, but he had a great impact on really building Leon as a character and making him so memorable. So I just want to pay respects, and honestly, I appreciate all the work that this guy did for the Resident Evil games and also all the stuff he voice acted in. What? Fear is eternal. What the freak? That is a project and a half. Look at all of this, hold up. Incredible. Oh my God. That's absolutely insane, man. Like, I don't see credit, which is what I'm always looking for, but this is still some impressive work from the creator of it. Like, every single game franchise, that is crazy. I appreciate seeing that, that's awesome. Here's Ryan after being put on an old age filler. I see no difference, that was me like five years ago. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is old school. What? I did this. Ah! <laughs> It was so bad, guys. It... Don't eat yet. Don't do that, guys. What's this all about, though? Hold up. What is going on, guys? Hold up, guys. You can't make this content. You can't do this kind of stuff on this Reddit. That hair do be vibing though. You should see it right now, dude. Like, legit. This comes down to below my jaw. I've never had my fringe this long. Usually, like, it's cut to about here, which I can't wait to get back again, by the way. Barbara's being selfish during these times, closing up. Like, what else can I do? It's stupid. Is it, is it just that? The barley behind the slaughter. Um. We've seen enough. <laughs> Toy Story characters when humans walk in. I mean, they don't want to be seen moving, right? Dot, dot, dot. Are you done right now? Those about 28 jabs in the back. 28 stab wounds. You guys think I don't do this stuff unintentionally, okay? That was completely planned. Only legends get the joke. Hang on, let's expand this. I mean, as you can see, eight is taking a little bit of a bite out of Ryan right now. <laughs> guys, just... Got a nice woolly hat guy is trying to warm his head. A couple of fluffy socks to warm those feet. Some gloves to warm my hands. And a weird kid in a, you know, a kid's costume to warm my heart. Why do you get warmed by weird crap like that? Honestly, you should focus on other things. What are you doing? Sorry, Ryan, but oh, I just... Oh, no, it's this scene. I had to do it. Oh, no, guys. It's this scene. It is. That, that is the cutest thing I have ever seen in my life, guys. What does he do? The absolute most adorable thing in my life. <laughs> Laughing in the screen. Oh my it's god. Like I knew it was gonna so happen, stupid. guys. Ryan, I think you forgot something. His brain, if you forgot, then it wasn't important. Ryan, yeah, you're right. So I'm like a rough fight, but like too many series at the same time. You can't do back to back series because then people don't want to see it. Subnautica Below Zero, um, I know they're like reworking the story or something like that. I know there was a lot in the game to experience before, but I kind of want to just wait for them to refigure everything out. I feel like it's gonna be really nice to experience that way. Raft is updating a lot, and I have been seeing the progress, and so I'm kind of hyped. Finding Bigfoot, I mean, well, it's just still janky as freak. All of these games will probably return at some point. It's just a case of like me wanting to check out new things which are always releasing. And that's about all I gotta say. Upvote if you feel this way. No, look, that was a smart way. Okay, look, Ryan, see my meme? Me, with the grin. Business Tactics 101, guys, by all of those people upvoting this post, it actually made me see this meme. So this is right now the reaction of the dude. <laughs> Rewatching that one weird episode of SpongeBob as an adult. <laughs> I mean, hang on a sec, wait. When did this happen? I'm not gonna go googling like, you know, Spongebob licking nipple. I don't want to see that. Just some fun art. Dude, look at that jawline that they've went ahead and gave me. You know, one thing I've always loved about art is how people are able to recreate like hair. It looks so intricate because it's got to be done almost like line by line. That is a fascinating piece of art, dude. I really think that's great. Thank you as well for spending the time to make this and also credit yourself right there. I mean, what can I say? Heartwarming, inspiring, and life-changing. We did end the nightmare. I mean, the whole of Raccoon City was completely destroyed, as was, like, the viruses amongst it. It was quite life-changing, I gotta say. Heartwarming, I mean, the blast from the bomb, it probably was a bit heated. Okay, you see where I'm going with this? I was just doing some homework and tried to look at the time on my watch. Instead of seeing the time, I almost had a heart attack. You look at that thumbnail and you see the quote. Shut the freak up! Yeah, you see that though, you know it's pretty important. On very rare occasions only, guys, do I actually go for the thumbnail and use the liquify effect, okay? If you see that, something is really important. Wow! Holy crap, that is amazing. What? That is sick, dude. This is another thing I love on Reddit, okay? We always see these great fan arts. This one is dope. Spineapples, you have nailed that. Take it up, though, off my screen, unfortunately. Here's a mashup of Ryan's screen. Hold up. 
Drop Wait, oh, I can't see that because you've used the copyright song. Remember, guys, if you're creating reaction-based stuff on the Reddit and you want me to actually react to it, especially in a video, please make sure you use some royalty-free music because I do get copyright left, right, and center by these companies who see like, oh, one second, that's mine. And it does happen. It literally is as bad as that goes. Okay, so come on. Stop doing that. I want to see your stuff and react to it. The ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh card, Ryan, the bit of eight. Quick effect. When target for an attack, negate the attack and expand head to prevent further attacks. Wait, wouldn't that give you more stuff, Sarah, to hit? Target one monster and attack, blinding them with ultimate edits. I like that, guys. Look at that attack and defense as well. It's premium stuff right there. Holy crap, dude. Whoa! Uh, that's actually insane. Like, look at the level of detail with the dripperture and stuff, man. Wow, that is effort. Like I say, guys, talent comes in so many forms. That's amazing. Take it up, though. It took him three years to return. <laughs> what is that audio quality, my guy? Come on right now. It's happening! <laughs> Oh my god, my voice is <laughs> This gone. was like one of the first horror games I ever played, dude. I remember the panic. And we're back. And we're back with oh dreams though, god. dude. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't see! I you see the difference though? Like, I'm laughing about it that time, man. It's just so fun. Could we see Finger Ryan again? I mean, he's right there, dude. Hang on a second, let me... Are you good? Yeah, all good. Okay. There you go, guys. Hope you're happy. I misread that. Oh, oh, yeah, now I see how that could happen. Ruh, roh, zoinks, jinkies, jeepers, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Made this myself. 16 things deaf people are tired of hearing. Um, wait, wait, I think I get what that article was trying to express, but I think they've used the wrong kind of wording. You know, people commonly say like, oh, I heard about this, and what they're saying is like, they actually read about this, so I think the title needs to be changed. What the heck is that? Stellamazan? Oh my, oh my god! Playing Sweden so Ryan can mem reminisce in his Minecraft world? Hold up, guys. Take it from the start. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just think. I mean, can I just do it? <laughs> Remember that time, you know, at the very beginning? Yeah. Oh, I remember that part, yeah, dude. It's wild, man. Yeah, I'm so I remember that too. Wow, all these stupid moments just flashing before my eyes. We took out the Ender Dragon, guys. It's just... Wow. Beautiful series. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to it soon, take it off, I'll get off my screen. Aww. My birthday during qu Oh, that cat looks so sad. Gorm made some good food. Maybe he's sad just because the candle's in the way of the food, but soon he can eat? I sure hope so. I worked really hard on this. It kept dropping to 360p. What the heck? We uh, experienced it, guys. Locate the needed supplies. Uh, okay, we can't correct it. So, too many voices. Wait, What's wait, going on? Collage is just me talking so funny. <laughs> you know, I've done like a thousand videos, and most of the time my intros last like, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute. Imagine if I did like an ultimate compilation of every single intro that I've ever done. Like, I would have like a 10 hour video of insane editing, okay, just like compiled together. That would actually be crazy to even see. <sighs> GameCube meme! Meme, apparently, Mimi. I think he's dead. Here's an idea for a new series. It's called The Dark Side of the Internet, and it basically consists of Ryan searching on Google or being, ooh, the weirdest, creepiest, most disturbing gifts he can find. That's actually a very interesting idea. The Dark Side of the Internet, because I have I have been wanting to expand like, <laughs> Sorry, I did that. Doing games is really fun and stuff, but like all these more creative ideas is just so much more unique and fun. I could definitely do something like that. In fact, I think I'm going to steal that as a video idea and maybe you'll end up seeing it soon after this. So, Swirly Head, you are the creator of this if I do a video. Then... <laughs> Ryan, Ryan so far. <laughs> no, we didn't. We couldn't do it, man. Like, we tried for the longest time, and then, of course, this freaking outbreak had to happen. I was actually planning to get steps done so I could get the sofa completed and put in the room because it's a, kind of like a fairly simplistic process. There is definitely some ways I can go about it. But because there's all these, like, you know, things that are considered right now, and you don't really want to, like, be interacting with different people during this time, I'm going to have to wait, and that sofa's going to have to stay in my kitchen for months. Like, I don't even know when it's going to get out of there. Five nights... 
Whoa, 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 no way. Bro, that's so cool. That's actually amazing, like, how creative that is, dude. I love it. Also, that security guard is dead. It's amazing. <laughs> Summarized with Mario. <laughs> 16-bit, look. Look how happy that 64-bit Ryan is. <laughs> 8-bit Mr. J, incredible fan art. You get a thumbs up. Hang on. A smash meme. I mean, why not, guys? Let's get it. Everyone is here, apparently. Let's see. There he is. <laughs> Wait. Why did they call me Baz? Okay, here's Baz. I think we know what happens here, guys. <laughs> hey! Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, my camera died. You asked for it. Uh, what did I ask for? Hang on a second. Wait, what the heck was that? Did you, like, open a fizzy bottle of Coke or something? Hold up, dude. Now, yesterday when I was streaming with Baz, I asked people to send me a video of them filming the stream and just zooming with the camera and scream. I mean, it wasn't quite a scream, but you know, Floopy, I'm actually gonna give you that one, so there you go. And with that done, guys, I think- wait, hold up. Day 9 of quarantine broke the laws of- Okay. All right, guys, we're now done with this subreddit, man. That was so much fun to come back to. Like, gosh, I love how creative you guys are and how I can just interact. Why is this so good? Keep the stuff coming, guys. Like, I love seeing all of the creative things that you make and just the memes that you're sharing. And basically, other than that, I think we're going to leave this episode here. So again, I'm going to pull the mic in. See you next time.